Two weeks before the primary election, the supervisor's race in Buffalo Township has taken a strange turn. One candidate this evening is in jail, accused of stealing another candidate's signs and then assaulting two police officers. John Shumway has the story now, new at 6. Weathered from a couple of campaigns, Supervisor Gary Rich's sign was minding its own business Sunday morning when it was suddenly sign-napped. Stuff like this doesn't happen in Buffalo Township. Moments later, a Buffalo Township police officer watched a hatchback drive by with a guy sprawled across the hatch and the wooden legs of the sign sticking out. A brief chase ended in 23-year-old Mike Oling's driveway. His passenger was just fine. Oling, who is also a candidate for supervisor, has this post on his Facebook page. The Constitution was written to keep the government off the people's backs. Why is the government all over ours? What happened to freedom? That was his theme as Oling yelled at the officer that it was his constitutional right not to obey the officer's commands. A struggle in handcuffs later, Oling was in the back of a police car, kicking the officer repeatedly. He shouldn't have resisted arrest. He should have just complied with the officer, and I think quite possibly it wouldn't have turned out the way it has. John Haven, who is the other incumbent in the supervisor's race, is stunned by the incident. Gary Risch? Not so much. Friday night he took my other signs and we were all over the township. I had like 10 other signs up and I just, I think it's kind of childish. The charges are anything but childish. Everything from DUI, theft, eluding police, to reckless endangerment, resisting arrest, and assaulting a police officer. If the kid needs help, I'd like to see him get some help. What impact this incident had on Oling's name recognition or his electability isn't known. We'll find out if it has any impact on the election a week from Tuesday, primary election day. In Buffalo Township, John Shumway, KDKA TV News.